So good morning, dear colleagues. I'm uh, happy to present you the final data of a study comparing um, Isopure with Vivitiv. So as you know, for Isopure, Isopure, the optical principle is a so-called polynomial surface design. It's complicated. The, the, the thing you need to know is simply it's a non-diffractive mechanism we the isopure lens is working with uh, negative phosphoricity is it still on okay second uh, the uh, negative phosphoricity the eat of effect is across the full optic unlike some other lenses which means that the defocus is uh, pupil size independence and third what i like about this lens is that the defocus power, the asphericity, is customized according to the IL power. What does that mean? This means that, for example, for an, uh, a competitor lens, the asphericity will remain the same across the entire diopter range, whereas for isopure, the asphericity is changing according to the um, IUL power. So meaning, for example, if we, if we take two extremes, an extreme hyperopic, of course the cornea in general will have more spherical asphericity plus, plus, and the myop on the other hand will have less plus asphericity, and isopure is nicely balancing that. More as negative asphericity for the hyperopes, which makes sense, less for the myopes. So, Isopure, in a way, can nicely balance all the time across the entire specter, defocus and quality of vision. Let me first talk about uh, apples and pears. So there's a lot of studies out there on EDOF lenses and most of them, almost all of them, are retrospective and non-comparative. Although they bring some value, we learn more about this new uh, IOL category. They are prone to bias, overinterpretation, and even misinterpretation by companies. And a couple of studies do compare with other lenses, but not similar lenses, but monofocal lenses. And almost no studies do compare apples with apples up till now. That is what we've done. We think that the real deal is always to compare equal contenders. That's what we have done. We compared Isopure with Vivity over six months in a prospective randomized double blind uh, design. 140 eyes, non astigmatic eyes over six months. All patients got minimal vision, meaning 0.5 diopters of myopia in the non-dominant eye and all patients underwent immediate bilateral surgery. So, <clears throat> as you know, both lenses do produce an elongated focus with the aim of providing a spectacle independence at intermediate distances and to some extent also at near distance, especially if you combine with mini monovision. One lens as you pure as I told you, is using negative asphericity and the other lens, VVT, is using its central 2.2 millimeter zone to modify wave zones. So before I go to the results, I want to emphasize that we went at length to produce very robust data. The study design you already know, but even more important, it's an independent study, it's primarily auto-financed, so companies didn't have an impact on the study design. And the study has been monitored intensively by an external uh, clinical research organization. Uh, the quality of the data is high. For example, 89% of eyes are falling within 0.5 diopters of the target. And the standard deviation on almost all visual acuities is better than 0.10 log mar. We have 0% drop hours. I'm sorry, the, the max is not seeming up. So this is the defocus curve. Um, as you can see in the light blue for Vivity, the defocus curve is somewhat broader at the level of 0.2 logmar. 
VVT has 0.45 diopters more of the focus, meaning that VVT is bringing the functional uh, vision up to 53 centimeters uh, compared with ISO Pure 65 centimeters. Of course, it comes at the cost. It comes at the cost of visual acuity around emetropic values. So now, how does that translate into visual acuity? For first and foremost, the best corrected visual acuity. This is always the most important parameter. You don't want any refractive solution to eat away at your best corrected visual acuity. As you can see from week one on, there is a difference in favor of Isopuel. And at six months, we have a little bit more than half a line advantage for Isopure. Now coming to the binocular visual acuities, first at distance, again, the same uh, picture. Isopure is gaining half a line over VVT. Becoming even a full line, becoming even a full line under and mesopic conditions. So it becomes a full line in mesopic conditions, the difference. We've done a couple of subgroup analyses because we wanted to make sure that there were no confining factors. But for example, we, we had observed that for the, non, for the dominant eye, there were more myopic outliers in the vivity group. So we've done a subgroup analysis, for example, excluding the myopic outliers, but still the data stayed the same, half a line, uh, photopic, full line under mesopic conditions in favor of isopure. Going to the intermediate vision, it's all about intermediate vision, right? The intermediate vision, visual acuity was excellent. Both lenses did better than the point one uh, logmar. And for near visual acuity, we saw a difference, a trend in favor of vividity becoming significant at the six months uh, visit. As could be expected actually from the uh, defocus curve. Now, uh, visual acuity is, is one thing, more important even is what the patient perceives. So spectacle independence, we ask the patients with the BRISIC uh, questionnaire how spectacle independent they've been over the last week. And for intermediate vision, almost all patients were spectacle independent. Identical, no difference whatsoever between the two lenses. At near distance, near distance, also one out of three patients was spectacle independent. Again, combined with a little bit of minimal vision. It was a, a, a minor, non-significant uh, advantage for vivid. Then coming to quality of vision, also very important. Uh, very reassuring for both lenses. He had a very good uh, dysphotopsia profile, actually uh, similar to a monosoclean. No difference whatsoever, uh, according to the McLinden analysis. However, coming to contrast vision, we saw again a difference in favor of isopure in photopic conditions, 0.15 log units, uh, mesopic uh, 0.2 log units. Generally speaking, a uh, difference beyond 0.1 uh, log units can be considered clinically relevant. So, in summary, for both lenses combined with minimum of vision 0.5 diopters, we obtained excellent intermediate vision and a workable uh, near vision as well. And it didn't come at a cost. We had a monofocal like uh, dysphotopsia profile. In terms of differences between the two lenses, for Vivity, we've noted a stronger defocus, 0.45 on the defocus curve, translating into better near vision, but the intermediate vision on the spectacle independence were identical between the two lenses. Now, on the other hand, for Isopu, we've seen a clearly better distance vision and also a better contrast sensitivity 
and the difference was accentuated under mesopic conditions. So, thank you. We really, I want to emphasize, we really did our best to come up with robust data, and I hope this data will be useful to work. And by the way, there's one more thing. We are already on the way with a second study, the same protocol, six months, double blind, prospective, comparing this time IHANS with Isaac Thank you very much.